Alright, so hello everybody and welcome back. Um, I'm doing a special one today. We're doing some custom packs because I'm going achievement hunting for something super secret. Not a regular secret pet, but a super secret. And yeah, I had to make a custom pack because the unicorn pack doesn't have um, ways to paint things, like permanently. Um, but I do have a couple in here so we can actually get started on that. I'm going to be a little bit vague about what it is because it's interesting and I don't want to spoil it too soon. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad I didn't lose it. I've had some really rough starts when I've been using this pack for some reason. Like, I keep losing the first two rounds in a row, which is unpleasant. Um, but yeah, I've had several attempts at this now, and I almost always get the level three. And then I die to scum. <laughs> I start dying to really broken builds. Um, like, right at the end when I'm at, like, high trophies. So, uh, yeah, we're also going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be doing Vampire Bat, because I need the win. And if you can't beat them, then join them. Anyway, we definitely just stack everything. Dear Lords, yeah, that's one of the things that can knock things out ahead of it. And this is a new pet, by the way. Both of these are. So there's a lot of new pets that aren't available in the Unicorn Pack, but are here in Customs. And they'll probably get cycled into the Weeklies as well when uh, they reset. So yeah, lots of new interesting stuff. I think there's... I know there's new toys. I don't know if there's new food, though. Um, but yeah, I may take the Food Dog here, because let's give future shop pets from next tier permanent plus 2 HP, which is... It's something. <laughs> See what this is first, though. And Skeleton Dog. That's not too bad. I don't like you as much, but yeah, like permanent scaling for the thing behind. Could be nice. Oh, no. I, yeah, I should have bought this first, maybe. I don't think it would have affected the one in the shop, but if I had bought that and then done the other combination, then you would have had more HP, I think. But it doesn't really matter. Freeze that. I think I will buy a Bigfoot. And I want you to get the scaling from the dog, so we'll send that... I would like to find, what's it called? There's like some ice wolf, which I think could potentially be like a late game pet for me. Something I keep on my team the whole time. So I may, I may roll a lot here. And that's a, that's a combo, okay. Um, sell food dog, we can combine these next turn. Let me get some extra stuff, leave stoats. Yeah, so you were the guy that I was thinking about going for. Do I still do it? I want to say yes. It's kind of risky, but I think I do. I think I do go for that. So let's start scaling that instead. I don't think the order of anyone else matters too much. And I'm going to keep this frozen. I don't know when I'm going to buy the gingerbread man, but he's just so good. Like, <laughs> new favorite low tier equipment. All right, that's a loss, but that's fine. Like, we're at 5 HP anyway. We were bound to lose it at some point. This tree, another new thing. Uh, we already have Vampire Bat. Okay, we're, we're sitting pretty pretty then. Get that down. We're not trying to push you anymore. Um, you being as large as possible is useful because the higher your attack, the sooner you will trigger compared to other starter combat things. Going to leave Vargas, I think. So we just need levels for you. Is there anything else I'm going for from tier 3? Like Avocado and Wyvern maybe? But yeah, I don't want to commit too much to that, because I would rather swap it out. We did find a wyvern. <laughs> but now I don't know why I'd sell for it. It'd have to be the skeleton dog, and I don't feel good about that. So never mind. Maybe this stays a lot longer than I'm thinking, because it's also very big. Oh, it's a... What are those called? Anubis. Yeah, I've seen some people do some really broken stuff with those. I think it lets you trigger every faint pet on your team. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, that can be very, very dangerous. All right, Foo Dog. Um, maybe put it on Frostwolf for now, because I, again, I do think this is staying. So let's see if we can get you leveled up. And I will buy an avocado, because there's a lot of things at tier four that I'd like to find. And yeah, we'll buy another one. All right, that's not too bad. Bat is another thing that's okay, but Bat, I think the dragon is just objectively better for the kind of stuff I'm going for. Phoenix is kind of risky. It's on feint, not start of combat, but it can hit my own stuff. And I tried that on a couple of builds, and I actually ended up destroying my own team faster than some other teams a couple of times. So, yeah, I'm, I'm less in favor of that one now. All right, so at least this is still going well. All right, Cyclops. Um, I could build a skeleton dog just for a quick 1-1, one, one, but that's effectively 2 gold, and it's, it's not worth a whole lot, so I think I just sell this. 
All right, so do that. Let's get rolling. Wish I had the pill now. Um, Microbe is very strong with this team, and I could get rid of the Bigfoot for it. What else would I be swapping in here? Because I need at least one open slot. I don't know. I think we still grab that, but I'm going to freeze Blobfish. We definitely don't need to level it up, though. Another Cyclops. I like it. Uh, oh. Can I afford to sell Bargus now that I have a Microbe? I think I might be able to. So I am going to semi-throw and do this. And then we can run double Vampire Bat for a bit. And maybe even Bicel Zebra before I do that. That's not too bad. Buying a Parrot isn't too bad either, but... Yeah, this Bicel Zebra gets some stats. Hopefully at least one of them will hit this guy. And oh no, my, my internet. Okay. That was strange. Okay, well those weren't good hits, but it's it's fine. <laughs> okay, another one of those is great. Um, I actually can... Yeah, I can get that to level 3 next turn. I just have to combine the by Cyclops separately, and then stack it, and then that will get to level 3 instantly. So I think that's very worth doing. I'm gonna put those that way. I know I could combine, and then that'd be high level, but I want to see if these can both snipe something when it gets weakness. They do, so I get I do get two shots off. That's nice. Actually, no, it, it makes sense with this, but I don't know if it would work the same way with um, Crisp and stuff. Yeah, because Cold and Crisp only activate once, whereas Weakness stays forever. Anyway, let's do it. Let's get a high-level thing. And I'm doing I'm going for Tier 5, because there are a couple of things I'm looking for there, but there aren't many things that I want from Tier 6. Plus, this guy's just so much stronger now, so yeah. Um, Alpaca could be cool, and I technically do have, like, a couple of free slots, but I think I'd rather not, because we already have a cool Cyclops thing going on. I'm just going to stack this, and then see if we can find another chocolate, and then that will be great. Blobfish, maybe? Yeah, I'll freeze that. We can still stack those, or we'll probably just sell it and then get one in there. I doubt I'm going to go for level 3 Cyclops, and I'm going to do that in case someone's running <laughs> crocodiles or something. Okay. Yeah, not a problem. We are at six trophies already, though, which is a bit fast. So Crow, yeah, I'm thinking sell Cyclops by sell Crow. Don't think I'm going to bother with either. All right. So let's get you leveled up. Still interested to see what we, like, what options we get, but not too bothered. Mongoose. I could do it for the stats, maybe. It's not a terrible buy sell. Not gonna bother with Tiger though. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty tempted to just pick up that guy. Yeah, so let's go for the stats. I'll keep Blobfish frozen for a bit. And Nessie. This is something that we actually need. Um, unfreeze that, because we're going to need to use our pills on this. I'm just gonna buy that now, actually. So, yeah, for people that aren't aware, Nessie is a pet where every time you roll, it gives stats to a Nessie boat, which we'll see here in a second on Faint. Uh, are we fine? I have weakness and they don't. Yeah, okay. So, there is this boat, and step one is getting that permanently. So, yeah, we need a, a pill. The microbe? No. Uh, I don't need any levels either. <laughs> Come on, where are the things? There we go, one pill. Alright, and I'm actually going to... Wait, should I freeze it? No, do it now, because I'm not going to be keeping the boat for too long. So step one is doing this, which is going to be like a 10-10 or something, because we've already rolled a bunch. Or way more than that. So that's actually pretty big. Um, but I need to find another pill, because that's not that's not where it ends. We're not going for this thing yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, that's fine. They killed my backline, but my bat lived. Excellent. We have triggered our thing. Sadly, you couldn't get that going before, beforehand. Oh, loads of chocolate. Okay, do this. Because, again, you're staying, so that's fine. And, I don't know, maybe I should have picked up Team Spirits, but... I don't know, I'd have to sell Microbe or something, and then we're, <laughs> we're definitely dead. I need to keep the Cyclops, so yeah, I think we'll leave that for now. And we need a pill, so I need to... I need, need to roll the chocolate, sadly. Very sadly. 
All right, stop freezing those at least. Oh my god, there's so much chocolate. My last run was terrible because I could never find any chocolates. And now we're getting a ton, but it's before I can use it. I need the things to put it on. And look, we're about to win. I need to like shuffle my bat to the front or something. Yeah. Come on, pill, please. Like this, there's so much stuff. A mushroom on either of these would be amazing, but I, I can't afford it. We're so close to winning. Okay, good. There it is. <laughs> so look at this. Do you see it? It sweats. Nessie's afraid. But here it is. The peg leg. Three gold. Set trophy gold to 12 and summon the achievement hunter's bane. So we'll pull that. We now need to get to 12 trophies to win and we have Moby Dick. Start a battle, remove this. So, <laughs> so yeah, Super Auto Pets is most most elusive pet. It's it's interesting. <laughs> now we need to give it levels, and there's still not a lot of time for that. So my my dream is to, I don't know. Actually, I can maybe get rid of something because um, secret pets are technically tier one. So I could probably use a Quetzal Kotal to level it over these, because even if I um, do use this Cyclops, I still need to find like three chocolates to get that to max level. And you know, I own, I can only do it here, I can't use all the other sorts of stuff because there's no room. So I don't know, I could maybe do get rid of something and um, play that instead. So let's get rid of that for now then. And I'm going to swap these, <laughs> swap those and again. And if we do roll into a Quetz, I will pick it up. And yeah, that's looking like a win, but there is still more time. We have two rounds to get this done. Looks so weird though. Oh, wait, there he is. So he's not going to target anything else, right? Yeah, you're already max level, so I assume you can't target us. Um, so that's two XP per turn. I mean, either way, I think we're selling the Cyclops here, so yeah. Get rid of you, buy this. So end of turn, give two XP to a tier three or lower. So you will level up this turn, and I could give you the chocolate now, and then next turn he will be max level. So even if I lose, it kind of guarantees that we get it where we need. So that's great. <laughs> that is really nice. And yeah, we're looking. Yeah, we're looking for mushrooms. Great. Okay, I'm going to throw it on here to start, but I would like one on there as well. I think. And you know what? We can even have the dragon. If we do lose, we can, you know, once this is max level, we can sell that, buy sell. Grab a red dragon, and then we have a pretty strong team. Still not touching Phoenix. They they scare me. Alright, yeah, we have to be fine here. One more, please. One more manageable team. These teams are so much nicer than the ones I was going against in my last run. Or well, last few runs. Okay. So yeah, we need you for one more turn. If we do lose, then we're fine. Um... Yeah, I still don't think I really benefit from any of this. Another mushroom. Mushroom you. And another mushroom. Do I need another one? I don't need these, by the way. I forgot that they like only just popped up. <laughs> just rolling. But yeah, I'll just buy an avocado and send it. And we might just be okay this turn. But yeah, he's level three. Show it to me. These are pretty big, but I do have a lot more triggers. I think we're fine. There's no way we're not fine. Hey, finally. Finally, you will not believe how many tries that took. And this run seems, they made it seem so easy. But yeah, there we go. We got the Moby Deck achievement. My first of the new secret pets. All right, very happy with that. <laughs> okay, well, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm looking forward to trying more custom pack stuff because there's so many new pets that I have not done anything with yet. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!